Hello viewers, today for initial checkout we have a set of AT&T DEC 6 cordless telephones. This is model EL52419. This is one of the models I was looking for for my collection. The one I'm seeking out is the white one. This is the black one and this is continuing on from the collection of telephones that I received from the letter H. There was a local pizza joint around here years ago that used to have a set of these telephones in white at the counter. It was a totally ghetto restaurant. It was dilapidated and falling apart, but they had the best pizza at this restaurant. And I used to go there all the time. And then they closed which is really a shame. I miss that place. But they had one of these there. They also had a 210 trim line very similar to that one over there in the back. Whoops. In the back which they would use to take the orders with in conjunction with this the AT&T set. And they also had a bell ringer hanging on the wall. I think it was similar to so this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see it from this angle, but the one that's over there on the wall that never seems to work right, yeah, that one right there, I think they had one very similar to that. So that's one of the reasons why I should get that ring to work. Maybe this recollection of this will give me the motivation to finally fix that thing. Anyway, so what a fun memories at that restaurant. I remember hearing these telephones ring and seeing it on the counter by the checkout stand. Similarly, at that restaurant, they had a pair and U220 and they also had in the back uh, where you could eat there was kind of two portions of the restaurant there was the main area where they had the counter in the kitchen and uh, the refrigerators and then off to the side there was a small room and maybe two or three tables in it and there was four ceiling lights well there was, there was three and then the fourth was a fion and it was one of those Crompton Greaves spinner fiends. And the, the four lights were kind of, not in the corner of the room, but symmetrically across the room. And this Crompton Greaves fian was inches from the wall. It was comical. And they never ran the thing, which I didn't understand because it was hot in there. And they had fiends going all over the place. One day I went in there and the blades were off the fan and it was running, go figure. And then sometime after that they replaced the fan with some modern cheap piece of junk and again never saw it running. So that's kind of a disappointment. I'd li really like to get one of those Crumpton Greaves fans one of these days. Anyway, so that's the story behind these phones. The phones are out of charge and quite frankly so am I. So I'm going to do the initial checkout tomorrow, but thanks to the power of the video editor, you only have to wait a few seconds. It's the next day. The phones are charged up. Now that letter told me that I may have a problem with the batteries. I don't seem to be having a problem with the batteries. I think that letter just has a collection of junky used batteries. So, Let's begin by setting the date and time because that is not correct. Twelve twenty one twenty, and it is the nine oh six. Okay, that the time's set. Let's go ahead and call these up. It's hardly even audible. That letter must have a very quiet household. 
let's change that to a more useful volume level. Bring your volume. That's a classic tone. That's been on. I remember that tone from the the VTEC I6763. I always liked how this tone distorts at full volume. Kind of interesting. Okay, let's try calling it again, and maybe now we'll be able to hear it. Okay, so it seems to ring pretty good. It's got a good volume too on the bass. So let's take a look at the answering machine. To play, press 2. To record, press 7. Hello, please leave a message after the tone. Why was the other voice so distorted? To play, press 2. To record, press 7. Record after the tone. When you are done, leave a message. I can't even follow instructions. I'm pressing select, but it's five. Leave a message. I can't even follow instructions. Okay, let's see here. The number of ring. I can put that down to two for the video. I don't usually use that, but I'll leave it on just so we can see it for the video. Okay. And just in case this has call screening, I'm going to turn it. I wonder if that's just for the ringer. You have no message. That's as low as it can go. Okay. I don't know if it's going to have call screening or not. We're going to find out soon enough. There is a call screening on the base, but it doesn't seem like it's going to have a feedback over and out. Okay, let's try to put a less rude greeting on there. This is a skunk. Leave a message or you're gonna stink. I guess that greeting was kind of rude too. Oh well. And we heard the message or it tone, so we'll turn that off now. Okay, let's call and record a second message. playback rather of that greeting is quite clear. It's a pretty good sound for a digital or digitan answering system. Okay now 
We'll replay the messages. You have two new messages. Wednesday, 12.04 a.m. There is a close screening on the base, but it doesn't seem like it's going to have a feedback. Over and out. Wednesday, 12.06 a.m. The recording, or the playback, rather, of that greeting is quite clear. It's pretty good sound for a digital or digitan answering system. End of messages. That sounds surprisingly good. Okay, now I will call... Actually, we can listen to those messages on the handset, too. You have two old messages. Wednesday, 12.04 a.m. There is a call screening on the base, but it doesn't seem like it's going to have a feedback. Over and out. Wednesday, 12.06 a.m. The recording of the playback, rather, of that greeting is quite clear. It's a pretty good sound for a digital or digitan answering system. Okay, now we'll call the testing answering machine and record some messages with the handsets. I like how fast that dials. VTech really knew how to make a good handset speakerphone. This handset speakerphone is quite good. The pickup is really good. It was working until about four feet away, and I wasn't speaking loudly at all. And the the outgoing, or rather the incoming volume is quite good as well. So let's go over to the mains, and we'll make an outside call so we can test the Incoming audio. Hello, Farmer Jones! Out here in the snowy white Christmas tree fields with the crop line for Tuesday, December the 22nd, the day after the solstice. We are open every day right through. Christmas Eve, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Harvest your own. You must be here by 4 p.m. or you'll be lost in the dark. And the weather's looking pretty good the next couple of days. Um, and today, parking.
from the barnyard village. You have. Handset sounds pretty good. sounds pretty good as well so audio is really quite good incoming and outgoing all right so these phones are working uh, we could do the page the knife in the frame Okay, I think that's about all there is to show for this one. It's pretty clean. Looks like there's some sticker residue there which we can clean off with Goo Goes or whatever that stuff is called. Otherwise, these are ready to be used.